Hey family, I'm back again. I was not expecting to actually come on here to be releasing this today. Um, what I'm going to be releasing to you guys today, the Lord actually gave me this word on April 1st, April 1st or for April and onward of what the Lord is really working on for his kids, for his children. And so I'm going to pray and then we're going to jump right into it. Heavenly Father, thank you so much again for this opportunity. Lord God, I pray that you would have your way in this situation. Father God, I rebuke every single spirit that seeks to block or hinder this video from getting to who it needs to get to, what it needs to get to them, Lord God. I lay myself at your feet, God. I ask you to have your way. Father, use me the way you want to. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would use my mouth as your mouthpiece to speak what it is that you want to say to your sons and your daughters in this very moment God I thank you 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 I cannot thank you enough for the beautiful God that you are hallelujah in Jesus name I pray amen you guys listen so this is actually a prophetic word which I will tell y'all like a rhema type of word like that he wanted me to read that he had me write out so that I can release it to you guys and so i'm really excited i i was getting excited to release those to you guys because i just know that it is actually i know that it's for somebody and, and it's literally when god like, wants to speak to you he will speak to you and so the scripture and i'm going to talk to but talk first about like where the word is coming from the lord had me in uh, first of all um the lord gave me these two words while i was just sitting uh with him in my quiet time with him and he he said this is the it's the time of he said he gave me the words retribution and restitution that's got my notes here i'm gonna just go ahead and read off the definitions for you guys so you guys know um so retribution is actually punishment inflicted as vengeance for a wrong criminal act and restitution is the restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner um or recompense for loss another similar word for that is then of course restoration which i already said anyway so the scripture where this is coming from is um isaiah uh, isaiah 37 i'm going to go ahead and read isaiah 37 first and then i'm going to go ahead and read the word of the lord for you that the lord gave me to release to you all okay um and in this scripture this is talking about hezekiah and his adversary sennacherib i hope i'm pronouncing that right sennacherib and he basically in the scripture is mocking god right he's basically you know, talking to Hezekiah and mocking God to Hezekiah and saying like, your God is like, who is your God? Your God, you're your God basically saying your God can't do nothing. What's your God going to do? You know, just trying to discourage Hezekiah because he had war that was being brought onto him. The King Hezekiah and, you know, the children of God were in crisis at this time because you know people were after them kind of like how we are as god's children right the enemy is after us in every way shape and form and wants us to believe that we lost when we haven't lost and this is the same thing that sennacherib was doing so i'm gonna go ahead and read the scripture it says this the reb Shekha left and found the king of assyria fighting against libna he had gotten word that the king had left lachish lach Kish. Sorry, I hope I'm pronouncing these right. Just then, the Assyrian king received an intelligence report on King Tr these names, y'all. Tiraka of Ethiopia. He's on the way to make war on you. On hearing that, he sent messengers to Hezekiah with instructions to deliver this message. Don't let your God, on whom you so naively lean, deceive you, promising that Jerusalem won't fall to the king of Assyria. Use your head look around at what the kings of assyria have done all over the world one country after the other another devastated and do you think you're going to get off so doesn't this sound like the devil doesn't this sound like the devil doesn't this sound like the devil and his foolish foolery that he always be trying to put up in our heads right it says have any of the gods of any of these countries ever stepped in and saved them Don't, comparing other gods to our god even one of these nations my predecessors destroyed Gozan, Haran, Razef, and the people of Eden who lived in Telsar, look around. Do you see anything left of the king of Hamath, the king of Arpad, the king of the city of Safarvayim, the king of Hena, the king of Eva? Hezekiah took the letter from the hands. This, pay attention to this part, okay? To what Hezekiah does when he receives this mocking 
when he receives this mocking from Sennacherib, when he receives this mocking message, mocking, okay, mocking him, mocking his, mocking Hezekiah, mocking the God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, saying, God can't do anything for you. What, what is your God going to do for you? Because the devil likes to always say this to us and always play his foolery and speak these things into our minds. Pay attention to what Hezekiah did with what, with this. Hezekiah took the letter from the hands of the messengers that Sennacherib, his adversary, wrote, basically, right? With all that mockery going on. And he read it. Then, after he read it, he went into the sanctuary of God and spread the letter out before God. Because whenever the enemy comes at you and tries to be all up in your ear like this dude was. That is what you do. You do not fret. You do not bring it to other people. You bring that directly to God. You bring the lies because the enemy, his enemy was lying to him and saying, your God can't do anything. Look at everything that's happening around you. Look at everything. This is the same thing the enemy is doing with us now, isn't it? He's saying, look at everything that's happening around you. We're in a pandemic. Everybody's losing their jobs. People are dying and you think your God can do anything for you? Uh-uh. Hezekiah prayed to God. He brought it to God. He even brought his fear because Hezekiah was in, in fear. Hezekiah brought his fear. Hezekiah brought his, his um, anxiousness, his anxiety, his devastation to God. He prayed to God and he said, God of the angel armies enthroned over the cherubim angels. You are God, the only God there is, God of all kingdom on, kingdoms on earth, because he is reinforcing and, 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 and making sure that also that sometimes we need to do that. Sometimes when you, sometimes you need to just remind yourself, God is God of the angel armies. He's king of kings and Lord of lords over everything, right? Sometimes you just got to speak that out. So your spirit can hear and receive it. God of the angel armies enthroned over the cherubim angels. You are God, the only God there is. God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You made heaven and earth. Listen, O God, and hear. Look, O God, and see. Mark all these words of Sennacherib, the mocking words that he said. Look it and listen to these words. Look what he said. The words that he sent to mock the living God. It's quite true, O God, that the kings of Assyria have devastated all the nations and their land. It's quite true that there has been destruction, right? It's quite true that the pandemic is going on. It is true the pandemic is happening. It is true people are dying. It is true people are losing their jobs. It is true that this is not an easy time to be living in. They've thrown their gods into the trash and burned them. No great achievement since they were no gods anyway. Gods made in workshops carved from wood and chiseled from rock and end to the an end to the no gods. But now step in, O oh God, our God, the real and the true God, and save us from him. Let all the kingdoms of the earth know that you and you alone are God. Hallelujah, right? And and, and, and God wanted us, wants us to really know he's stepping in. The Lord is stepping in on our behalf. This is the time of retribution. This is the time of retribution and restitution. God's vengeance on those who have wronged his children. God's vengeance on uh, and God setting people uh, straight, right? God uh, 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 humbling people who have mocked him, right? God humbling the devil, the enemy, and all his works that he's doing and whoever he's using to do those things. God humbling in this hour, hallelujah, to remind who really God is. Then it says, then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent this word to Hezekiah. God's message, God's message, the God of Israel. Because you brought King Sennacherib to Assyria to me, uh, because you brought King Sennacherib of Assyria to me in prayer, here is my answer. This is God speaking. She has no use for you, Sennacherib. Nothing but contempt. This virgin daughter Zion, she spits at you and turns on her heel. This daughter Jerusalem, who do you think you've been mocking and rever like God is saying, who you who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? You think you, you're messing with the wrong kids. You're messing with the wrong ones. Okay. Who do you think you've been mocking and reveling all these years? Who do you think you've been jeering and treating with such utter contempt all these years? The holy of Israel, you've used your servants to mock the master. You've used your servants. What did I just say? The people that the enemy has been using, in, even in your life and in the world, right? The people that the enemy has been using. Hallelujah. 
You've bragged with my feet, he, with my fleet chariots. I've gone to the highest mountain ranges, penetrated the far reaches of Lebanon, chopped down its giant cedars, its finest cypress. I've conquered the, its highest peak and explored its deepest forest. I've dug wells and drank my fill. I emptied famous rivers of Egypt, the Red Sea. He split the Red Sea with one kick of my foot. And I'm going to go down to the bottom, which is the part, the parts that the Lord really wanted me to focus on even more so. And it says, I. I know all of your pretentious poses, your officious comings and goings. And yes, the tantrums you throw against me, right? Because the devil is like a little child throwing temper tantrums. That's what I always say. Whatever he does against God's children are temper tantrums of jealousy and hate. And so he he, he takes out his emotions on us, God's children, through attacks. Because of God see and God is saying, I know all about, he knows all about them. He's seen all of them. And he thinks he's been getting away with it for so long, but ain't gonna be no longer. Because of all your wild raging against me, your unbridled arrogance that I keep hearing of, I'll put my hook in your nose and bit in your mouth, and my bit in your mouth. I'll show you who's boss. I'll turn you around and take you back to where you came from. Hallelujah. Then it goes, Hezekiah will be your, and this Hezekiah will be your confirming sign says the Lord. This year's crops will be slim pickings and next year it won't be much better. But in three years, farming will be back to normal. God will have reestablished things back to the way they're supposed to be because this year's crops, it says, will be slim pickings. The next year will be much better. God, God has to, uh, God has to take what the enemy tried to destroy and demolish the dry land, the dry, the dry, the 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 the, 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 the dry land, the, the destroyed land of of some of our lives that the enemy has has come in and tried to destroy. It says this year's crops will be slim pickings, but just hold on a second, just wait. You just gotta wait because as you as you stay close to God. God, as you have been working with the Lord, as you've been close in your relationship with the Father, what the Lord has been doing with you, he has been restoring you through all of that whole entire process and saying to the point where it says in three years, farming will be back to normal with regular sowing and reaping, planting and harvesting. What's left of the people of Judah will put down roots and make a new start. The remnant, the people left in Jerusalem will get moving again. God is bringing restoration, retribution, and restitution. Restitution, restoration, restoring. God will, the people left in Jerusalem will get moving again. Mount Zion survivors will take hold again. The zeal of God of the angel armies will do all of this. Finally, this is God's verdict on the king of Assyria. Don't worry. This is God's final verdict on your adversary, on the adversary. God's final verdict. Just like in this word I'm about to read to y'all from the Lord. The Lord said, don't worry. He won't enter this city. Won't let loose a single arrow. Won't brandish so much as one shield. Let alone build a siege ramp, a siege ramp against it. He'll go back the same way he came and he won't set a foot in this city. Hallelujah. This is a, the decree of the Lord. I've got my hand on this city to save it. Save it for my own sake, my very own sake, but also for the sake of my David dynasty. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave the staff scripture reading at that and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read what the Lord gave me to release to y'all having read that scripture. I'm going to read now what God wanted me to release to you from God's heart for you, his sons and daughters. I pray that it would encourage you, that it would that it would give you comfort in knowing God has your back. He has your back. Nothing and no one. Nah. Hallelujah. The devil is not, understand this, the devil is not going to be getting away. He's not, he's not even getting away with it now, though it seems as though he is. Many of you have been asking God, where is my vindication, Father? Where is my vindication, Lord? Your vindication is coming. Your vindication is coming. Vindication is coming for the body of Christ against the enemy. That everything that the enemy has done, that everything, that everything, that any everything the enemy has done to you, every and anything that anybody has done to you by way of the enemy to harm you, anything the enemy has done to steal from you, listen, this is what the word of the Lord says. It says, this is the divine season of my retribution and your restoration. Recovery of the lost things, the forgotten things, dreams, hopes and aspirations the enemy stole from you all those years ago. They're coming back 
I'm giving them back to you. No more pain, no more rain. I'm giving back to you a hundredfold what was lost. It's your time for the recovery retribution. You won't hurt any more. The devil will pay for the damage he incurred on your life. I'm determined to get you back what you lost with interest. Satan owes you back what you lost. When he stole what he stole, you're getting it back. It's coming back to you. It is the time of my vengeance, the time of my judgment. My children, no more, no more pain. And the and that no more is all up in capitals because it was like he was saying, no more, like it's enough. No more pain and hurt inflicted on my children. You shall see my glory in your life shining forth. When I restore you, yes, you will shine in splendor and beauty. Your lives will shine like the dawn. Get ready for your new life. Get ready for new discoveries, new revelation, new life. Yes, it's your turn now to shine, my son, my daughter. I want you to start now, dance and rejoice. In other words, he wants you to start shining now. Start shining, start shining, shine. You, 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 you are shining. It says, now dance and rejoice like it's already done for it, it is. I finished it. I established it. Ah, la manda raba se te dirioso, ramasai. Hallelujah. Your life in me, the life you were always meant to live down on earth, a life of fullness, peace, and true contentment. That's what I have in store for you. Just wait. And that is the word of the Lord for you, my beautiful family. That's the word of the Lord for you. I pray that that blessed you. I pray you are encouraged to understand and know that we are God's sons and daughters. And there is no way in God's green earth that God is going to continue to let the enemy have his way. The enemy can have his way for a time, but that is to sift and that is to separate and that is to expose what needs to be exposed. But there is a time when God puts his foot down and says, okay, devil, that's it. Your time's up. His time is up in your life. His time is up in my life. His time is up. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. His time is up in your life. No more is he allowed to destroy you and tear you down. Manda Ramase Lamandi Robosa with words, with destructive words. Hallelujah. Manda Satidioso. Ramandi with curse word curses that others have spoken over you. Masha, Likioso, those are canceled. And I just sever those off in the name of Jesus Christ. Every lying word, every lie of the enemy, every deceptive lie, Lord, remove it from the mind of your son or daughter right now in the name of Jesus. I sever off every demonic spirit off their lives right now that is trying to devour their faith, that is trying to devour their identity in you, oh God. Lord, let them get a restoration in you. Rekindle the fire of your spirit right now in the name of Jesus, God. I sever off every demonic spirit right now off of the, your son or daughter, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of fear and anxiety and doubt, go now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray. I love you. Be encouraged. God's got you. I'll see you in the next one.